Okay, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like it's still really, really bright. I'm gonna have to be really careful with this thing. All right, you all. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for this day and thank you for this time. I pray, Lord, that um, as we get ready to do our Bible, our journaling activity and um, devotional and open up your word, I pray that you will speak to us. And Lord, my camera and my, and my tripod, keep it together. <laughs> Apparently, this message is, uh, I don't know, maybe it's going to be important. Somebody needed to hear it. I don't know. But, um, Lord, I just ask that you would just keep it together so that we can get through our broadcast this morning. And may someone be blessed and encouraged um, by the words that they hear uh, today. I thank you for all those who get on with me live, as well as those that will jump on maybe a little bit um, throughout the day. May your ministry, may your word go far and wide. And uh, I want to thank you so very much for um, <clears throat> this past weekend and us being able to travel and get to see family. And Lord, as we um, travel to go to Columbus for the funeral to visit the other side of the family and um, support my aunt as she buries her husband, I pray, Lord, that you will be with us as we travel and be with us with the ceremony. And just be with my Aunt Barbara, Lord. Just put your arms around her during this time. It's got to be difficult. And um, I pray that you will um, give her comfort right now as we say this prayer. And um, just be with us, I pray. And I thank you for what you're going to do. And we love you. In Christ's name, amen. All right, um, let's see. I had some fun. Ari, good morning. <laughs> How you doing this morning? And um, let's see. I got uh, Andrea on. Good morning, darling. <laughs> amen. <laughs> yes. Mm, amen. Thanks, Andrea. I appreciate that. And I don't know if somebody else has gotten on this morning. If you have, good morning to you. Thank you for being with me. And um, I pray that uh, you'll be blessed by what you see in here today. Okay? This is Bible Art Journaling. And I've had a flood of uh, new individuals who've gotten on um, the broadcast. And um, I'm tickled about that. You know, I try, I, I really don't do any advertising, I'm just kind of allowing people to find me. And um, I don't know, I'm, it might be easier, it might be a little better if I start my own group, but that seems like a lot of additional work that I don't know that I'm quite ready for. <laughs> you know, I'm being honest. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you pray for me. I'm trying to adjust my light here, my camera. Something happened when it fell, and um, it did that the last time. I'm gonna put this black in front of it and see if it will adjust. I don't know that it will, but we'll see. Yeah, see, it looks like it got brighter, didn't it? Yeah, hmm. I don't know, anyway. Um, I've adjusted my lights here so that it wouldn't um, shine real, real bright white. I don't know what else to do. I hope it's okay. I hope it doesn't disturb you all too much as you look on. Anyway, I've had some new people to get on and, um, this is called Bible Art Journaling. And, um, this is a journaling Bible. And the difference between it and a regular Bible is the margins are wider and a note-taking and journaling Bible has wide margins so that you can do your note-taking right here in the scripture and so <clears throat> some come with lines some are blank some have pictures and for you to color and um, some Bibles even have um, a full sheet full blank sheet right here in the center of you know between each text um, page. And so 
Um, that's for note taking, writing down scripture, writing down prayer requests, testimonies, um, you know, prayer of thanks. Um, maybe you're reading a great book and you want to take notes. Maybe you're at a Bible study or um, great sermon going on and you, you want to take notes from it and you just write it right down here in your Bible. Okay. And, uh, but our journalists, we use that margin to do some artwork. Now, you'll look at mine and you'll say, okay, she did not stay in the margin. Nope. <laughs> I use the whole page generally. Now, sometimes I'll just do the margin, but generally I'll do the whole page. Uh, the whole page is my canvas. And I have been enjoying my time. Um, okay, does it look funny, y'all? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I've been enjoying my time um, doing this. It has really allowed me to get into God's Word, find some scriptures that, you know, um, maybe I had never really come across or maybe I came across and it's just, um, you know, it just hits me differently than it did the first time, okay? And... Um, I'm going to hold on to this page because I want to talk about that. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm using watercolor. I'm using acrylic, colored pencils, gelatos, um, ink tints, pencils, and um, did I say markers? Yes. And, you know, you test your stuff out in the back of your um, Bible and... So that way you have a good idea of how this stuff works on these very thin Bible sheets. And um, get into God's Word and then do something artistic. He is the great creator, amen? And all of his creation creates. All of it does. All right? Creates, procreates, okay? Yeah. So... All right, so, you know, don't worry. You know, I know a lot of people say, oh, I can't write my name. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but even with that, that is creativity, okay? And you'll notice I, I don't usually do a lot of stamps or um, uh, print off somebody else's page. I try to um, use my own handwriting as well as my own drawing and it doesn't always come out you know as nicely as I had envisioned or maybe even that I wanted but it's really about the time that we're spending with God and um, listening to him speak to us through his word and um, that's really that's really really what it's about okay I mean it's fun to do this you know I, I I've enjoyed painting for well over 20 some years not to say that I'm just you know excellent with it <laughs> but it's just very therapeutic for me I just I just love it and so this gives me an excuse to paint every day as well as get into God's Word now you'll notice here that um, <clears throat> my words are covered up. This Bible has been dedicated to just doing artwork. And um, so I'm not, um, you know, concerned and or worried about covering up the words. All right. The scripture that I'm focusing on is the one that I'm journaling. And so if there just so happens to be another verse on the page that I want to do for that particular day, I might go to the other side or I might do it in another journal. You know, you and you don't have to do Bible art journaling in a Bible. You can use a regular notebook or journal and and uh, do these activities, <clears throat> um, you know, right in that. Okay. All right. I wanted to talk about this right here. Um, this is a color, just like fuchsia or something. I don't know. Um, it's out of my watercolor set. 
And um, because I know that this does this, I'm not alarmed, okay? And so when you test your stuff out, you'll know which ones are, you know, <laughs> will give you the most trouble. And um, the my purples and this, this um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's kind of like a, I don't know. It's like a fuchsia. It's almost like a pink, but it's not really pink. Anyway, um, I know that it bleeds pretty badly, um, the purple and this color that's close to it. And so, um, you know, when you know that, you don't get alarmed, okay? And I use it anyway. I can always um, put some acrylic down. I wouldn't want to put watercolor on the other side of this because this would destroy because it would be wet again because watercolor would be reactivated. But I can surely do acrylic or something like that over top of it um, because it does not have the water in it like, you know, watercolor would be. Understand? Did that make sense? I hope I didn't <laughs> confuse anybody completely. <laughs> well, today we're talking about light and um when I first was doing my search this morning, thinking about what we were going to talk about, um, <clears throat> I was considering the lampstand. I think I want to do a little bit more research on it before I do uh, any projects. I came up with all kinds of different texts, so, you know, that's always fun. But I thought today well, we would start with, um, you see the cat, <laughs> Bob, he's saying good morning. He's down there. You say good morning. Mm -hmm. I know you want to come up here, but you can't. All right. All right. You behave, okay? So I um I decided to go to uh, Bible Gateway this morning, which I always do anyway. But today's uh, um, today's uh, verse um, it just so happened to be about light. And um, it's, of course, a familiar text that we, we um, recite quite a bit. And I'm in Matthew, the fifth chapter, and I want to read um, verse 14, I guess, uh, through 16. Okay? All right, and it says, You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light, uh, light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. All right? And um, like I was saying, I, I started out uh, looking at a lampstand and the uh, furniture for the, um, you know, the sanctuary. And this, I thought, worked really well with that idea, too, of shining your light and uh, the idea of it. So... Um, I'm going to get my pencil, and I always say this, <laughs> use a light pencil when you are doing um, your work, and uh, that way you don't have too much to erase. I, I try to do it a little darker, and I use a little darker lead because I want, uh, I want you all to be able to kind of see what I'm, what I'm doing, all right? And... Um, like I said, you know, we we were in Atlanta this this weekend. Well, we were actually in Alpharetta, and so I didn't get to see any skyscraper, you know, that kind of thing, real big, tall buildings or anything like that, because they didn't really have those in Alpharetta. <laughs> we weren't in that type of town, but um, beautiful. Uh, I like Alpharetta. It's very nice, and they had some beautiful homes out there I think I don't know I don't maybe I won't have so much dimension going on in my project this morning so again I am in uh, Matthew the fifth chapter 
and we are considering and taking a look at uh, verse 14 15 and 16 okay and um, you know I think a lot of times we <clears throat> we shy away from getting up, getting in front of people and um, doing things because we don't want it to appear as if we are being showy. But God says, hey, let your light shine. Hmm? And you can still get up and do things without... Uh, without being boastful about it or, okay. All right, so I've got my little heel right here. <laughs> and actually that looks like valley now, doesn't it? Let me maybe make it this way. And So if you have some kind of talent or gift that the Lord has given you, he's wanting you to use that. This is not just a suggestion. This is kind of like a command. Let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Because who's giving you that talent? God's giving you that talent, right? Absolutely. He's giving you that talent or that gift, and he's expecting you to use it in some way because it's going to glorify him all right and so i know that a city usually you know when you go into a town especially at night especially those big cities and they have just the, the lights are on in the buildings and lights are on on the streets and you get this really beautiful skyline okay all right now I've got my this is going to be a flame here really kind of like uh, where the light is hitting okay I mean you know <laughs> I put my skyscrapers a little taller since my my light here is going to be kind of tall all right. I've been trying to get my daughter to, she's so talented and gifted, she really is. And, but you know, peer pressure is such a beast. And, you know, she doesn't want to be up front or anything and show and demonstrate because it might look like to her friends or her peers that she's, you know, trying to show off or something. So, um, it's a struggle. And... You know, it's like, uh, for for whatever reason, <laughs> it's like having a talent and a gift is, you know, a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's craziness. You know, don't do anything special. Don't, don't, um... Don't stand out, be mediocre, it's craziness. Are y'all with me at all? <laughs> I don't know. Since my camera has fallen, I don't know if you all are on or not. <laughs> anyway, 
all right, we're going to keep moving. I'm going to pray and, well, you know, I'm always praying that things go well, but. All right, so here's my um, my city here uh, on a hill, and this is the light. Mm. I probably could put in some more. And, hmm. No, I think I like that there. Good morning, Ruth. How you doing? <laughs> Sorry about my, um, I don't know what happened with my, with my tripod. I'm going to have to get something a little different, I guess. All right. Anyway, if you're just joining me this morning, I'm in Matthew, the fifth chapter. And uh, let me just read the text again. It says, you are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lampstand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others um, before others so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Okay. And again, you know, it is it is God that gives these gifts and talents and things, um, you know. I know it's supposed to be like one light, but I was thinking about putting... Ah, that's, I won't do that. I'll just go with the one light. Okay, <laughs> probably could have made this thing a little bigger. And I'm guessing that it's not too terribly late, but it's just, uh, hmm. I think that'll be all right. Let's just do this, okay? All right, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, what am I going to use today? Morning, Lisa. How are you this morning? I um, maybe I'll use my gelatos this morning. I'm trying to transition, you all. I'm trying to make this way up across the table here. I'm trying to trying to transition and incorporate some of these um, new materials. Where is my, here it is. Some of these new materials that I have um, purchased. <clears throat> and um, gelatos um, will work just like watercolor, except um, the gelatos will dry and it'll be permanent. And so, um, I like that about, <clears throat> about this product because then my artwork and stuff will not be ruined. Okay. So the gelatos are just like a, a crayon and, and, um, I have been just rubbing a little bit <clears throat> on my plate and then activating it with water. Okay. And so uh, they're fun to use. I've been enjoying them. So let's just go ahead because I just want a little bit down here, I think. I don't think I'll cover the whole page today <laughs> like I normally do. <laughs> Something kind of simple. So maybe uh, light will be our theme for the week. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. That's just kind of how it happens for me. I am... Um, you know, I will, uh, I've got a lot of pencil mark. I'm going to erase just a little bit. I will uh, pick, you know, it just makes things kind of fun, interesting for me as we open up the Bible and connect some dots and things. And All right. 
think um I think my girls are on. Good morning, Val. <laughs> and um Oh, good morning, Joseph. How are you this morning? And Lisa, good morning to you. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of this color down. You see it's very, very light. Uh, this is a light green. And uh, I apologize about the camera this morning that I don't know what happens to it after it. Well, I mean, it, it failed, y'all, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm adding just a little bit and of course just like with the uh, watercolor um, the less water you have the deeper the color okay so you see that ends up being a lot darker, which I like. Um, I'm accustomed to the real bold color of like acrylic. So, you know, that watercolor thing is really, it has really taken me something to get uh, accustomed to. And just, I'm not gonna try to do the whole thing. I just want that right there. All right, we might put some words down too, okay. All right, so <clears throat> this morning I'm in Matthew, the fifth chapter, talking about your light shining huh? <laughs> before men. This is not a thing of trying to show off and or be boastful or, you know, hey, look at me, that kind of thing. Um, the Lord wants people to be able to see um, the gift and the talent that he has given you, all right? That, if that's what he's gifted you with, then you should be willing to share that with the world, okay? Good morning, Kay, and good morning, Cousin Herman. How are you this morning? <laughs> all right. Um, I've got a couple of blues. This is kind of a... Um, I don't know. It's called elderberry. <laughs> and I could, um, I'm going to reserve the yellow to put around my city right here, okay? So I'm going to do this blue. I'm going to do this one, I think. And hey, I'm still learning this stuff. <laughs> I am still, still learning how it works. I think that's probably gonna be more than enough. But um, this product is fun. It's pretty fun to play with, all right? And again, I apologize for the lighting. Um, the, in my first video this morning while I was working, it fell, the camera fell. And so, um, the uh, lighting is really strange this morning on my book. So I apologize for that. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't disturb you all too terribly much. <clears throat> Might have to. I don't know what we're going to have to do. We're going to do something. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm using gelatos this morning, and um, still learning how to how to uh, navigate it. All right, so um, yeah, I think I was saying earlier about how <laughs> my daughter, you pray for us because she's very talented. And I'm sure, you know, all, all look, all of us have something that God has given us. It might not be art, and that's okay. I'm not, you know, he's he's gifted us with many different things, huh? And um he really intends for us to use them. And 
and to use them for his glory. Amen. It's really dark over here, y'all. I'm not accustomed to this. I want to move my thing over just a bit <laughs> so I can see. <laughs> So I was talking about my daughter and how, you know, her friends, I don't know what they say to her. It might not be her friends. It could just be some other folk. And, but, you know, it's just, it's tough, I guess, trying to, you know, wanting to fit in and but not to wanting to be different or wanting to use your gifts and talents, but not wanting to stand out, you know? I don't know. All right, so see, I'm, I'm using this stuff just like a uh, watercolor. I'm gonna wipe this up. Just look easy clean up, <laughs> okay? Not difficult at all. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, this yellow down. And today I'm using my gelatos this morning. And um, let me see if I can hold that up so you can see it. It's kind of blurry, isn't it? I'm sorry. But anyway, gelatos, that's what it is. Good morning, Tasha. <laughs> I only really need a little bit because I'm just putting it around this side here, okay? And um, activating it like watercolor. And again, um, the beauty of this product is that once this dries, it is permanent. I can, I can put more paint on top of it and it's not going to disturb what's going on underneath. So it's a great product. It really is. Um, I'm still learning it, you know. Um, I'll try my best not to get it mixed in with that blue over there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so hey, if you got a, a talent, a gift, then it's your responsibility to to use that thing. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think um, there is a limitation on the gifts, <laughs> except if you don't choose, if you choose not to use it. I'm thinking that you know eventually, Lord just takes it away. I don't know. That's what I've heard. I think it comes from that story where the um, businessman gives out the talents and the one has the 10 and the other one has the five and one, you know, the last one only has the one and, you know, he ends up burying that thing. He, and when the businessman comes back, he's like, you buried it? I and he gives it to, I think he gives it to the one who has the 10. So I guess it does get taken away. You're just not capable of doing it any longer because you, you chose not to do it, you chose to bury it. So that yellow end up being nice and deep. I like that. All right. Let's see, do I want to add any more on here? It's not going to get any darker, though. I think that's going to be it for that. 
You know, I could, let me see, cause it's light, so it should be shining everywhere. Let's see if I can get a little bit on top of uh, my grass here. Let's see. Just a little bit. Right on top. So it kind of looks like that the, the light is shining down here on the lawn. I know you probably can't see that right now, but I'll hold it up. I remember I'll hold it up so you can see it. Hey, Angie, good morning to you. <laughs> good morning. Come on. See, it's just right on top. You see the green is still there. All right. Way more yellow than I was going to do, but that's all right. I'm good with it. <laughs> I am. I'm good with it. It's okay. You know, I like a variety of color, so I'm all right. Okay. So now with my <clears throat> with my city, I think I'm going to use uh, my, <laughs> I think I want to use a little bit of the metallic, but I think I want to use gray as well. So um, cause my city is going to be nice and bright. Huh? I think so. All right, and um, I'm using, you know, my, here lately seems like I'm using it every day. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I just wanna, I'll use this flat brush right here. I'm gonna use it right out of the top, okay? Good morning, Sonia. How are you this morning? And I don't know if somebody else has gotten on or not this morning, but if you have, good morning to you. And um, God bless you. Thank you for being with me, being a part of my journey this morning. Um, Bible art journaling is my thing. It's probably going to be my thing for life. Uh, it's just a great way to get into God's Word and, and then to do something artistic. Um, it's, and it, it look, and it's fun. <laughs> hey, who would have thunk it, huh? Getting into God's word could be fun. Hmm? Having worship, doing something creative. I'm having worship. Hmm? You could even sing. You can come up with the you come up with the theme of what you're doing for the week, and then that would be your song. So, like this week, uh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hmm? Or the other version. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. So that could be your song for the week. This is your text for the week. Or you look up some other text that talks about light or lamp or, you know, you just kind of let it go. You don't have to have somebody else's devotional to tell you, you know, what the thought is for the day. And this could be something that you and God come up with. All right. Okay, so, um, you know, I sometimes like to use my words, put my words up here on my sheet. I think I will today because 
it's kind of blank, huh? <laughs> and um, we can add some add some words to this. How about that? What time I got? I've got a little bit of time today. Yay! <laughs> All right, hold on for a moment. Let me um, let me get my blow dryer out and let's see. Introduced you to a friend last night. She has never seen me. Okay, uh, Sonia, I will look for her. And maybe we can shoot the video to her or something. Maybe um, you could share it or, or something. Oh, wait. Do I have art? Because I can't see the whole. <laughs> so she got a chance to see the art, I mean, the program. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I know some folk, I don't know if I'm not, if I'm not a friend or connected. I don't know that they get the notifications or if it comes up that says that I'm on or whatever. I think we have to be friends for that. But anyway, well, thanks, Sonia. I appreciate that. <laughs> Introducing me. <laughs> and I hope, uh, hope she got something out of it. <laughs> it wasn't one of those programs where I was just, you know, like rambling or something. All right. Anyway, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to dry this real quickly. One second, okay? You're looking for a Bible now. Oh, very good. And, um, you know, you'd be surprised. Uh, a thrift store at times will have brand new Bibles. Now, you know, of course, you don't have to have a journaling Bible. And there's all kind out there now. Um, you know, don't let that encourage her don't let that stop her just because she doesn't have a specific note-taking or journaling bible that she can do this in any bible okay and um or she can use a um a journal um you know i've shared i got this out of uh, michael's you know and it's just you know just regular paper okay you know but she could use she could do that um, until she gets it. Don't let that be a hindrance um, that, you know, just encourage her about that one, okay? All right, let's get some words on my paper here. And um, uh, I'm thinking about let your light so shine. I think so. I think so. to move that just a little bit and so and shine Now, I have noticed that once uh, when I erase a little bit, 
that gelato will come up off the eraser, okay? It will, it will come off a little bit, so be careful with that, all right? So, <clears throat> got my pencil work done, and I'm using, I'm going to be using a Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen to do, um, good morning, Diane, how are you? And Chris, good morning to you. Thank you for being with me. <laughs> We are in Matthew, the fifth chapter, and I'm looking at verse 14, 15, and 16. You are the light of the world, the Bible says. And a city situated on the hill cannot be hidden, and it gives light for all who are in the house. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Did I skip something? Let me see. Let me do it again. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a light on a lampstand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, you are as, go good gracious. In the same way, <laughs> let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead with this. Now, I will say this, that the gelatos kind of have a, a little resist. To it so you might find it slightly difficult taking your pens especially uh, the extremely um, tiny pens okay um, they will probably resist a lot more The fat ones you can probably do okay with. I'm just doing a little bit of tracing and I'm not really even staying on the line so much. And I'm not worried about the pencil mark because I'm going to take my other and whatever pencil mark is left we'll try to erase it we'll see okay all right so that was uh, the small uh, pit artist pen that i was using there now i'm going to use the brush tip okay all right good morning erica how are you this morning we all are missing you all Tell the pastor that we are, uh, Philip is looking for a call from him. I think he's tried to call him a couple of times, okay? Just checking on you all, making sure y'all doing okay in your new city, new town, and what a blessing. All right, so I'm, my rule of thumb here is that I usually try to stay to the left of my letter, and I'm, I kind of highlight the downstroke, put a shadow on the downstroke, okay? So uh, we have to encourage one another. You know, this verse is not just for the children. This is for the adults as well, okay? God intends for us to use our gifts and our talents to glorify him. He did not give them to you to hide it and, and say, oh, it's not good. And, you know, because sometimes we can, we'll compare ourselves to other people and say, oh, you know what? I didn't do a great job like they did or mine didn't turn out this way and that way or, 
You know, I really can't sing that well. And, you know, I don't think God is really interested in <laughs> and what our thoughts are in terms of um, the gift that he's given us. He's given it to us and he wants us to cultivate it. He wants us to, you know, get better at it or whatever. Um, yeah, you can't go around talking about, oh, mine is not as good as theirs. So I'm not going to do that. Unfortunately, that's just not how God operates. <laughs> okay. He is not really. He's not seeking your opinion on it, really. And you know, it doesn't say it's a command, but I'm thinking it's close to it. So whatever that talent and that gift is, you make sure you use it. Okay? Because this is not, it's not for you, it's for God. You're doing it for Him. This is something He's given you. And he wants you to use it. And only you can do that very thing that he's asked. I mean, there are other people who could probably do it similar. But because we're all unique and we're all different, you know, it's not going to come out the same way. You know what I'm saying? All right. So my page looks a little um, plain, Jane. And... Let me hold my Bible. I learned this text um, when I was little. I mean, I was a little bitty girl when I learned this text, Erica. <laughs> this is your favorite. That's cool. <laughs> All right. So I'm holding it up so you can see it. My camera is acting funny. It failed this morning. So, um, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll do better on tomorrow. <laughs> I'm needing some red or something on my page. Um, I'm needing something. It needs a little something. I'll take my pen and just... Um, Outline my buildings a little bit. Got that nice metallic uh, paint on. And uh, my pen works really nicely on it. Very nice and smooth. <laughs> Unlike that gelato. Because it's kind of, it's almost kind of like a wax, you know, almost uh, just like a crayon. But, um, it's a pigment, an ink pigment, and so it uh, dries permanent. That gelato does. That's why I, I like it and why I'm trying my best to incorporate it in my um, artwork. Because I don't, I don't want my stuff to be ruined. Although I've been, this is my fourth Bible, I've been pretty good. about keeping it out of harm's way, all right? Let me, this is my light, my light around my city. <clears throat> and I still, I have a few pencil marks here and I think I'm gonna try and get a few of those up. I need to put something else on here, y'all. I'm going to put something on here. Hmm. Let's do my, my heel and my green. I 
Okay. Well, that did a little something, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe I could uh, go ahead and that would help. But I don't know. I think I might need something down here. I'm not certain what it would be, but I'll think on it. But I think this will be the project today, y'all. Now it's our job to go out today, figure out what, what talent, what gift did the Lord give us that he wants us to use today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now this blue is a little funny, but I'm going to go ahead and go with, this is kind of dark, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be all right. And on that side. <laughs> all right. All right. I think I'm done. Let's do it with this. Uh, let's do it with this one. All right, you all. Okay, I don't know. It might be something else I need to put on there, but I can't. I can't see right now. I can't think. <laughs> all right, there's our text. There's our project for today. Uh, don't be surprised if I post it and you see something, you know, a little different. You know, I take liberties after the camera shuts off. <laughs> All right, but that's our verse for today. Matthew 5, and I read to, uh, today, and we considered 14, 15, and 16. You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket. Hmm? All right, and then down in 16, it says, let your light so shine before men so that they may see your good works. Glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Hmm? All right, you all. Consider that this morning. Hmm? Consider it this morning. What your talent is, what your gift is, something that you might have thought that wasn't really worth anything, don't go burying that thing. You pick that thing back up and ask the Lord what it is that he wants you to do with it because this glorifies him, all right? This is really, it's not about you. <laughs> this is what glorifies him. And we want to glorify the Father, don't we? I do. I think you do too. Sure. Let me put my little blue on here. You'd be surprised at the little things that you do on your page and how that really kind of helps bring some stuff together. It's amazing how that works. All right, you all. God bless you. May your journey be sweet. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow's Tuesday. Yes, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. And we'll do it again, all right? Um, Wednesday, I'm not certain because we're supposed to be traveling. So we'll see how that goes. All right. May God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for being with me. Share and invite people to the program, okay? <laughs> all right. And um, look, I'm, I'm looking for you all's uh, input too. This is not just uh, for me. I'm, you know, just not me to speak to you. Um, I grow too. And when you all share and, and uh, have your input, it, it means a lot to me. So, I thank you for that. All right, you all, I'm gone. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.